Hello YouTube and welcome to our 38th Unity 3D tutorial, I think it's 38th, but um, last tutorial what we did was we aligned our enemies and I said during the break from it I'm going to properly do them all and I have so they've all got box colliders and they all can die which is really helpful. So first we're going to kill him, him. Him. See, they all can die. There we go. So they all can die. We all can see that, yeah. But so what the to today's tutorial is um, the subscriber Bob Billy, which I talked about in the fix up video, um, he posted a suggestion saying, um, "Can you show any way to show how much money you have?" So. Um, that's today's tutorial. Nice suggestion. Super simple. One line of code. Um, two lines of code if you want to get um, experimental. But yeah. So to do this is really really simple. First we go to our scripts folder. And well, I want I don't want it on the screen at all times because the way I'm making my game is maximize on play is so it's not like that. I want it to be. Um, only when you put certain places on, so I want it on your inventory, so I want it to say here. So to do that it's really simple, I'm just going to open the inventory GUI script. So if we go to HUD's inventory GUI and open that up, and so we can scroll down, where do we want it in our script first? Well we want it to be dragged around with the window, so of course we want it in the draggable window bit, um, which is really good, because now it groups it together so if you put it in here and I find the best place to put it is actually just with this so what we're going to do is copy that line go below and paste it in then all we do is change this and we're done that's pretty much it at the moment but so we're going to rename this from name to labels so we put all our labels under here so first we want to make an XY and size and stuff for it. So we're going to copy the name positions and styles and duplicate it. Um, I don't think you can duplicate on every program and the way I'm doing it is pressing Control D and it duplicates it. But what I'm going to do is rename this to money size, in fact I'll rename the second one, money position and money size. So what's, where do we want it? So I'm going to say I'm just going to keep it where it is and we'll change it in game because it's so much simpler and keep the money size the way it is so we're going to paste in x y money size money size now if we kept it as your inventory then it would mess up wouldn't it because basically um, what do you call it that that's where it displays so we need it to display our money so how do we find how much money we've got well we put it into our player's inventory script, not the inventory GUI, the player's inventory one. So if we find the player's stats here, player inventory, as you can see we have, oh, I'll just open it up, it's easier, we have an error. Name position, ignore that, because it seems that we haven't changed something. Okay, apparently that, oh, it's because we haven't saved it, ignore that. But um, here you see it says static VAR player's money, that's how much money we have. Uh, so we're going to copy that and go back into here. And all we do in our let money script is type player inventory dot player's money. Now if we left it like that, because that's an integer, I've explained this before, it would throw you an error. I'll just save it and show you what that error looks like. There you go, give a label in basically rectangle, which which is that first bit, so this bit here. Then it doesn't know what int is, because it doesn't know how to do that. So all we do is convert it to a string that we've done. So you go dot, capital T, to string. Two brackets, I know it looks like you've got three brackets, but that's right. So to ring, there we go. Now we let go, and it's done. There we go, so I'll just maximise it because else it'll look weird. So if we go find the right thing, what we need to edit, to close our character things down. I do. So we don't need grids. We don't need that. What we need is the money position. 
So we'll open it up and then open our inventory screen up. Aye, there we go. So our money is nowhere to be displayed. But if you look carefully, that yaw is a very weird. So what we're going to do is drag it down on the y axis. Okay, up, oh, there we go. So that's it, money. We have 100. But that looks a bit weird because it just says 100. That's not what we want. So what we're going to do is just drag it into what we think is going to be the right position. So that'll do. Um, yeah, so what's our position? We'll not save the position actually yet. What we're going to do is put that back on. And here we're going to create another one. Yeah, I know it's quite a lot. <laughs> but copy that. And we'll type... Um, I don't know what to call this now. We've called the other one money. Money name. That'll do. Copy that. Paste it back in there. And again, we'll create another label. And this label will be for to say the words money. And then our money will be after it. So we'll change your inventory here to money. Put a space there. So then our money will be after it. That's what we we're hoping for. It's just whether it works or not. So paste that money name position. Money name position, money name size, and money name size. That's it. That's that done again. So, really, really fast, really simple, really good. And open it up. There. So, as you can see, it's a complete mess now, but yeah. So, it'll open up money name position and drag it down or up. Money. Where do we want it? I think we'll have it around there. And then we want our money position. Well, we want it the same Y axis, so we'll just copy that. Round it up to 45. And now we want the X axis to be dragged across. That way. Money, you have 100. Now, if we were to remember all these. 76. So, as you already know, you have to write it all back into the code, so it's stuck for every level, else it'll mess up. So, we'll drag up. So, our money name position is 13. Y-axis is 45. Money position, 76. And 45. That's it. So, now if we click that off, 13, 45... I forgot the rest. Um, money position 7645. 7645. That's it. We're done. So if we click play and click it, there we go. There's our money. I don't think we get money for killing people, do we? Okay, you don't want to die. Let's kill Raiden. No, we don't. So where's the nearest coin? I believe a coin's up here. There we go. So we don't need that. We'll go and collect this coin. And our money should go up. There we go. As you can see, it's gone up. So now we have a way to display our money. It stays there, always active. It'll still stay there. I don't know why everything's moved up. The, the wall and the buildings. Hmm. No mind, we'll have to change that. That's that. So there we go. Press I. And the wrong script's being added that's done that because if we go back to our what you call it uh, level interior save changes yep make sure you save because if it crashes you'll cry <laughs> so if we go back to our character as you see name inventory GUI here it's all the same which is not what we want so if we reset it we will get rid of all the grids which is actually really simple so we'll just do that so you go click that reset so it's all reset assign your GUI skin house style all this is correct inventory window so inven inventory window close icon close cross there we go our grid so we'll change it to one like I showed you so change it to change one of them so we need a blank empty what did we call it oh we have to find it that takes forever I can't 
can't remember what I called it. It's so annoying when you can't remember what you called it. Um, HUD inventory grid. We call it grid icon. I have to remember that. There we go. So now if we change that to 40, we have 40 of the exact same. There we go. So that's reset. Now if we were to try it, it should work. There we go. Exact same as before. So we go here. There's our dark side. There we go. 110 and we'll go back and it should be fixed. Come on. There we go. Boom. All done. So that's really simple. Quick 10 minute tutorial. Um, next tutorial, I don't know what we'll do, but we'll find something. So thanks for watching. See you soon.